Hi, I'm Chris Arbutina, the undergraduate recruiter here in Penn State's College of Health and Human Development, and I'm really excited that you're taking the time to learn more about health and human development here and what makes it a pretty special part of Penn State. Before we go further, I just want to say congratulations. We are so excited that you've been offered admission into our incoming class and really excited that you also are, are strongly considering joining Penn State. We would love to have you here. Also, I just want to give you an idea of where we are. Um, we're sitting on the third floor of the Biobehavioral Health Building. It's one of the newest buildings on campus. It's part of the College of Health and Human Development. We're right in the heart of campus. Um, directly behind me, um, just off my shoulder, is Henderson Building. It's actually one of the oldest, most historic buildings here on campus. And there are offices and units there that you've become pretty familiar with during your time here at Penn State, particularly during your first year. Um, on the other side of uh, behind me is the, is the Hub Lawn. The Hub is the, stands for the Hetzel Union Building. It's the student union, so truly in the heart of campus. Let's talk a little bit though about what makes the heart of HHD. When I think about this college um, and I think about our eight departments and our eight majors, there are three key areas, disciplines, that really come together that I think set this college apart. We bring together the social sciences, business, and, and life sciences. Depends upon your major. It might be more on the science side. It might be more on the business side. But all of our majors integrate those three, those three components. So I want you to kind of visualize a Venn diagram. I want you to think about three, these three key areas. You've got business, social sciences, and life sciences. And where those circles converge, where they come together and intersect, that is, is health and human development. That is our space. And it becomes a really personal space. So let me give you the big view of, of the majors here in health and human development. On the life sciences side, kinesiology, nutritional sciences, biobehavioral health, and communication sciences and disorder. Right in the middle there, human development and family studies. And on the business side, hospitality management, recreation, park and tourism management, and health policy and administration. Now I've asked Dr. Dennis Shea to join our conversation. He is our Associate Dean for Undergraduate Education and Outreach, and we're gonna have a conversation that we want you to listen into right now. Okay, so I'd like to introduce you to Dr. Shea. Hi, Chris. Hi, good to see you. Great. Thanks so much for, for joining in this conversation. So many times when we talk with prospective students and students who've been offered admission, we talk about how the College of Health and Human Development experience is practical, purposeful, and personal. And I thought I thought you could kind of talk a little bit about each of those and, and what really makes the experience here pretty unique for our students. Sure, I'd love to do that. I think one of the great things about the practical experience in HHD is that most of our students are going to complete a real-world internship. And this is real work in a, a setting for a full semester or for a full summer, um, working with someone in that setting as well as with a faculty member who's going to guide the learning experience. So, and so students really get to apply what they're learning in this real-world setting. Um, we build practical experiences into many of our classes. For example, our students in the School of Hospitality Management actually run a restaurant here on campus, Cafe Laura or our students in our nutritional sciences program do community nutrition outreach going into the school districts to share nutritional information with students as part of their course experiences. Well, let's talk about purposeful. What kinds of experiences can our students have that really hit that purposeful? Well, that is, I think, another great thing. Many of our students will have an opportunity to do research experiences with faculty, which is one way of making it purposeful. So we have students in programs like Recreation Park and Tourism Management who are doing research on how to prevent dangerous interactions between bears and bison and people in national parks, um, and students doing scientific research in nutritional metabolic labs or our kinesiology uh, null research lab. It's a great opportunity for students to, again, apply these skills. Um, another way we make it uh, purposeful is that students have great opportunities to engage in minors here as part of the College of Health and Human Development. So whether that's our global health minor or our entrepreneurship minor in the School of Hospitality Management or a field like sports studies that many students in kinesiology or recreation park and tourism management can use, they have a great opportunity to really build some additional purpose into their work here. And lastly, how about making it personal? No, I think that's a, a great question, and, and I think one of the things that's important is our faculty and our staff really do um, dedicate themselves to helping students make their education uh, personal. But the best way I can tell you about that is just by focusing on a student. 
Um, a student I have in mind is Laura, who's in our biobehavioral health program. And Laura has a real passion for preventing sexually transmitted diseases. Uh, while she's been here, she's worked in a local high school, um, helping students learn about how they can prevent STDs among uh, youth. Um, she's also had the opportunity through our Global Health Minor Program to go to Africa and work alongside physicians and public health workers on preventing STDs in that environment. And then students, Laura has also been active in our UNESCO program, Penn State is a UNESCO university. Uh, as part of that experience, Laura was selected as one of seven UNESCO fellows um, across the country. And she'll actually get the opportunity to take her education to Paris, France, working in the UNESCO uh, headquarters there. So these are the types of things that students can do while they're here at Penn State and in the College of Health and Human Development to make their education really personal. Sounds like a tremendous opportunity for her as well. So one of the questions I get a lot from parents is, that all sounds great, um, but what happens after my son or my daughter graduates from Penn State with a degree from the College of Health and Human Development? Do they get a job? That's a great question, too. Uh, again, I think um, in the fields that our students go to work in, the job opportunities are really great. Just one example of this is the data from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Um, the Bureau of Labor Statistics projects that over the next decade, more than 50% of all jobs in the United States will come from just three industries, hospitality and leisure, healthcare, and education. And these are careers that connect to every one of our majors in the College of Health and Human Development. In addition, many of those jobs and occupations in those fields pay quite well. And so students will be able to make a comfortable living while they're also doing some real good for individuals and communities. I love, I always love that, doing good and, and doing well for our, for our students. So Dr. Shea, thank you so much for joining us. Um, really appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching. Now there's so much more we could talk about. Um, housing on campus, where could you live? Um, what's your first year gonna be like? What could you expect um, during your first semester here at Penn State? And I would love to continue the conversation with you. So you'll see that there are a couple ways to reach me. You can certainly email, we can set up a phone call. We have some virtual appointments scheduled that you can log into, but I would love to keep the conversation going with you. So please do reach out. And as we wrap up, I just want to say again, thanks so much for watching. Congratulations on that offer of admission. We are really excited about your possibilities here at Penn State and in the College of Health and Human Development. Take care.